Howdy, donkey! We can help you progress through your quests, but there's just one problem. I want to reach the key above my head to open this door for you, but I've eaten far too much. I reckon that if you can feed my buddy Scoff over there, he might be able to overcome my slight weight problem. So if you've got any tasty bananas, go stand on our pad and let's see what we can do. Sure thing, buddy. Now, this is why you want to collect as many bananas as possible. You need them to unlock the door. So, I'm going to use Donkey Kong's bananas, because of course, this first boss is going to be taken care of by Donkey Kong. And you will need more and more bananas as you go along. Also, this goes without saying, or this should go without saying, although, I guess... Leah did make this mistake. Sorry to call you out on that one, Leah, but uh, you cannot use the bananas from other worlds. You have to, you, you can only unlock the door with bananas found in the world with the boss. I cannot use any of the bananas I found in World 1 in World 2 to open the door. So, uh, just remember that. God, I need to make sure I look up every enemy's name before I do this. Also, friggin' this looks terrible on the N64 because it is so dark. Actually, it's incredibly dark on my uh, recording. I might have to brighten it up in post. Actually, I might have to brighten it up now in the middle of the recording. Actually, I can't do that. So you guys are just gonna have to deal with it. I forgot I had to make the game a bit darker to match the dark, the uh, black levels. Oh well, it's not too bad, is it? Okay, I was not paying attention to the game. I was looking at my computer. When he pops his head out, run over, press B to pick up the barrel and throw it at his face. This is Army Dillo, by the way. Army Dillo. Yeah, I should have fixed the brightness. I forgot. I apologize. I will remember to do that. I will remember to do that next time. I just need to. God damn it! The light levels look fine in Banjo Kazooie, but I need to like I need to make the the uh, brightness lower for Banjo Kazooie, and I need to make them. Or I need to make them darker for Banjo Kazooie because a lot of the black on the screen is just flat out gray, so I need to brighten that. Uh, I need to brighten it for Donkey Kong 64 because, as you can plainly tell, it's incredibly dark. It is nowhere near this dark on my screen. I can see... Like, for you... Oh god, I wasn't paying attention. For you guys, like, it might just... Everything looks black for you guys, but it's not. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm going to stop this recording real quick and restart it just so I can change the brightness. Alright, that should be better, hopefully. Um, I'll just keep peering back at the, uh... Yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, that's a lot better. I can tell immediately that's a lot better. So I just need to remember to darken it to, uh... Darken it for DK64. Damn it, I missed. Did I get it? Ah, shit. Well, I'm already screwing this up, and it's probably because I keep friggin' trying to play off the game, the friggin' capture. Why am I, why am I trying to play off the capture? Look at the friggin' television screen, you idiot. Anyway, this is pretty much what every boss is going to be. It's the same, it's just, repeat the same process three or four times, and don't die along the way. Also, don't try to pick up the barrel and run with it, because you don't run fast enough with the barrel. You will die. There we go. Oh, what the frick? Pick it up! Ah, shit. I was holding the B button! What the fuck happened? I'm so confused. Ow, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get another... Death. Yup. I'll be right back.
Okay, I just now realized I don't think you're supposed to hold the button. I think pressing the B button picks it up. Because I think pressing it again is what throws it. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Ah, damn it. Okay. Alright. Alright. I can go back from this. What? What the frick? Oh, that's bullshit. You all saw that. That's bullshit. Also, friggin' what is this crown made of? Water? What the hell? It's like a waterbed. There we go. But yeah, um, it's probably a good thing that I brought that up, the f uh, that I left the darkness levels as they were, because that gives you a perfect example as to uh, what the N64 looks like when you fight this guy, because the brightness levels on the N64 games were not the best. Fuck playing Ocarina of Time on the N64. What the fuck?! Do I have to hit him actually in his fit in his big stupid nose? Is that what it is? Oh shit. God damn it. I'm just I'm not good at this apparently. I'm just not good at this. What is wrong? Like, I'm gonna be honest, this has never happened before. This has never happened before. What the fuck? This has not happened. This did not happen normally. I'm not crazy. This doesn't happen. Oh my god. This is just... This is just bad. I'm sorry, everyone. There we go. I don't like this guy, and it makes me kind of worry because you do have to fight this guy a second time later on, I believe in World 5. God, isn't that going to be a treat? This is a perfect representation of, of when I play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword on Hero Mode. I can do the dungeons just fine, they're no problem. The bosses fuck me up beyond all belief. And the bosses are usually the easiest part of a Zelda game, in my opinion. Bye. Alright. With that done, we get the first key to unlock K. Lumsey. I couldn't remember his name. K. Lumsey's thing. Also, yes, K. Lumsey, B. Locker, K. Rule, they're all fucking stupid jokes. Also, the boss door disappears. Yeah, K. Rule is cruel, uh, K. Lumsey is clumsy, B. Locker is blocker. It's just dumb. Anyway, we can now head back over to see Mr. Woos. God fucking damn it! I hate when games do that. I hate when games put the friggin' exit in front of you like that when you come out. Alright, let's just get over here. Hey, K. Lumsy, I got a treat for you. And like before, his little happy dance will open up the next world.
That opens up world two. <coughs> and I sneezed. Good fucking job. So now we can head up to where I was trying to get to in the first episode before we started Jungle Japes. By the way, I apologize if when I do that it gets annoying after a while. It's just faster to... It's just faster to uh, do that than just walk. I could do this also, but then I have the possibility of rolling off a cliff. Well, I have the higher possibility of doing so. Don't try to jump for these, just get as close as you can while still on ground and just jump forward. That's the best way to do it without falling. Man, I wish I could get up there without ha without having to jump to, uh, without having to jump up each individual stair, but it's whatever. This is the entrance to world two. Now, by getting every old banana, you'll notice that really you don't need all of them. We have more than half. In fact, we have more than double the amount that we needed. Let's just restock our ammo. When you when you pick up one of the ammo boxes, it collects it for every Kong. Uh, I believe the ammo is shared between every one of them. Now, as far as I can tell, we can't really do anything in here. This is also going to be a somewhat short episode, because, again, all it was is the boss and then us walking up here. But I guess that's it. In the next episode, we will enter the second world and Grey Aztecs. That'll be fun. I like that world. We get my favorite Kong in the game in this world. So until next time, everybody...